Continue Google Cloud Dataflow's last minute cheat sheet. I went through how to build the Dataflow pipeline in the last video. Now let's take a look at how to aggregate elements in an unbounded collection through windows, watermarks, and triggers. With an unbounded data set, it is impossible to collect all of the elements since new elements are constantly being added and may be infinity through the streaming data. If you are working with unbounded P collections, then you need to use the windowing. By default, there's a single global window. Before you can use a grouping transform, such as group by key on a bounded P collection, you need to define a non-global windowing function or non-default trigger. I put a three long global windowing functions diagrams here for you to easily memorize for the exam. The trampoline windows with the fixed time windows that each window might capture all elements with the timestamps that fall into a certain interval, for example, 30 seconds. Hoppling windows with the overlapped sliding time windows that each window might capture, for example, 60 seconds worth of data but a new window starts every 30 seconds. The frequency with which slider windows begin is called the period. So in our example, it will have a window duration of 60 seconds and a period of 30 seconds. The last one is a session windows. It contains elements with a gap duration of another element. The gap duration is an interval between new data in a data stream. If the data arrives after the gap duration, the data is assigned to a new window. For example, a session window can be used for the game session or user shopping session. However, windowing functions may not be able to handle the delay items. Here is the situation. In any data processing system, there is a certain amount of lag between the time a data event occurs and the time the actual data element gets processed at any stage in your pipeline. So BIM tracks a watermark. The watermark is a threshold that indicates when data flow expects all of the data in a window to have arrived. BIM's default windowing configuration tries to determine when all the data has arrived based on the type of the data source, and then advance the watermark past the end of the window. However, this default configuration does not allow late data. So use triggers to modify and refine the windowing strategy for this situation. BIM provides the event time triggers, which operate on the event time, processing time triggers, which operate on the processing time, data-driven triggers, which operate by examining the data as it arrives in each window, and firing when that data meets a certain property. Currently, data-driven triggers only support firing after a certain number of data elements and the composite triggers, which combine multiple triggers in various ways. I also put a two sample codes here so you can see how to combine windowing, watermark, and trigger to aggregate elements in unbounded connections. I will go through the remaining data flow's last minute cheat sheet the compression between Dataflow and Dataproc to data processing service from Google Cloud, the comparison between Dataflow and Dataprep to data preparation service from Google Cloud in the next video. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.